On this episode of Muscle Car of the Week, we're taking a look at a very special 1970 Dodge Challenger shot at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in Chicago. Sometimes when you're walking through a car show like the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, you'll see a car and think it's cool, but not really know the full story behind it. And Gregory, you brought out a family heirloom yes. that is uh, incredible as a car, but also a great story. Tell me about how this thing came to be. Okay, well, well, my dad, he was uh, wanted to uh, have a nice car, so I guess my, his brother had a 68 Charger with a 440 Magnum. You know, he always used to brag about it, you know, hey, you know, about the racing. Yeah. So my dad, when it was time for him to get his car, he had to one-up his brother, so he ended up getting the Hemi. Nice. So that's how that started. So he bought the car, and uh, he ordered the car, a special order, in October 69. And uh, the build date of the car is November 69, and he received the car uh, December 5th of 69. Wow. So we've, it's been in the family ever since then. So this is a 70 Dodge Challenger 426 Hemi yes. pistol grip four speed. RTSE. RTSE. So he checked all the right boxes. Yes. And, and what is also unique is the top treatment. So it's, uh, it's a gator grain. Bottle top, which is a V1G, and uh, yeah, that's, that's the kind of unique thing about it because I guess back then the, the top wasn't very popular. So. Yeah, no, you never see them. Yeah, so. And, and uh, uh, Chrysler did a couple different things with tops. They, of course, did the mod top option, which was kind of the bright color paisley thing, and, and I guess that was targeted yeah. then towards yeah. a, a female audience, <laughs> and the gator grain was all man, <laughs> you know, so that's cool that that survived. Yeah. So how was your dad, how old was he when he bought this car? He would have been in his probably mid-20s. Mid-20s. Mid My dad was in the uh, military, and okay. then he was a police officer for Detroit Police. Right on. Yeah, he served in the uh, 82nd Airborne and the Special Forces Group, right, 12th through, uh, and the 12th Group and the 19th Group. Wow. Yeah. So he saw action in Vietnam. Yes, yes he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from and 64 then, to 66. In the beginning? Yeah. Yeah, wow. And came back and then became a police officer? Yes, Detroit police officer. Yeah, so he saved his money. <laughs> yeah, he did save his money. Yeah. And he, he wanted the best, so. Well, it, it looks like he got it. So um, at what point uh, did the car, um, I mean, he was driving it every day, this was his only yeah, car? It was a, it, I'm not sure if it was the only car, but I knew he drove it a lot. And also my mom drove the car as well. So what he would do for my mom is that he would disengage one of the, the Lincolns on the four barrels and she would be the top of the neighbor. So it's a single four barrel car. That's nice. Kind of a, today they call it a valet switch, okay. you know, right? Um, so then did this thing get, get put away? It's obviously been used. It's great looking. It's mm -hmm. kind of well worn. It's got some rust. It's got some dings and dents. Yeah, around, around about maybe, I think, 70, 1978, um, a good friend of his, uh, Dean Harriman, um, was working on the car. He's, he asked because he, he had problems with the car getting it started. Mm -hmm. So then once he got it started and everything for him, then, you know, he ran it for that summer. And then after that, he just parked it. And it just sat in storage for 37 years. Wow. So then we fast forward to uh, recent years, and, and unfortunately he passed away, and that's kind of what inspired you to right. dig it out. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to actually get an idea of, of what the car, why did my father like the car so much? You know, what was what was it about this car? So I had, I was on a mission to get it, you know, together. So with the help of uh, Dean and um, and uh, Daryl and Katie at Cars Automotive, uh, we was able to get the car back in shape and. When I put the key in there and I took it out on the street for the first time, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, you knew why he liked this car. I understood why he loved this car, why he really loved this car. Yeah. Because he was very, very adamant about uh, about me not giving away the car. Mm -hmm. You know, even when he was sick, he, you know, he was like, you know, don't give away my car. So. He's a smart man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's really cool to me because I can't tell you how many people I've talked to here at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals that say, if I was to order one of these, this with tail stripe, this is exactly what I would have ordered. Okay. I mean, so he had his thumb on the pulse, man. He knew what was cool. Okay. Uh, th this is it. So how many miles are on this thing today? I mean, uh, how much did it get driven? Um, it's 45,617 miles, and I put 70 miles on it myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so 45,000 isn't much, no. but being up in Detroit, it saw yeah. some weather and that's oh, yeah. why it looks kind of the way it does. But yeah. I think those are well-earned 
you know, dings and scratches. I, I can't say it's. A, I can't take all of them about the weather, but the, some of the dings on the side. There's actually uh, when I was a little kid. Somebody's and, uh, bicycle. Bike, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. And scra Oops. Yeah, and yeah, scra yeah. And scrape it. And, uh, so you caused your dad's <laughs> blood blood pressure if problem. I would have known huh? then. Uh, yeah. I don't know now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when when you were growing up, if he parked this thing in '78, you were. Uh, did you have any experience? Being a passenger in this thing, yeah, as a passenger, as a little kid, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember he put a hundred dollar bill on the dash. He says, "Okay, I'm gonna give you a chance. If you can get that bill, it's yours." And I was thinking, "Man, I got this. I got this." And he said, "Go." I went to go reach, and I was like, "Oh, boom!" I couldn't get it. I was like, "Oh, it scared me." It yeah, scared yeah, yeah. Me. That's fun. Yeah. That, that, that was a great thing that people <laughs> used to do, and you have to experience that to know what that little trick's all about. So, uh, what did he use his car for? Just kind of daily driver, weekend cruiser, and he um, raced it. Well, yeah, he, he used to he used to drive as a normal car. He actually had a, uh, a, a tr uh, trail hitch on the back, and he used to pull his m motorcycles. He had a, a '68 Norton Commando. Really? Dad, yeah, yeah. Your dad was into cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, man, so those old Norton wheelies on that stuff. But yeah, he had a good time. But he also would uh, you know take it out at night and do some street racing. So, Which we don't condone. Yeah, so he was a police officer, so the street racing thing. And he was a traffic enforcement cop, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I should be telling the story, but he had lots of fun with it. Um, I heard stories uh, when I was here, some of my Chicago family actually told me things I didn't even know. And um, one of my cousins, Ramona, she said, yeah, your dad, you know, used to race down the alley in the cities of Detroit. Down the alley? I was like, what? <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, that's a little crazy. Well, I've talked to a couple people here that are from Detroit, knew this car. Okay. You know, from way back when. And, and, and the one guy in particular had never seen it and knew the, the myth that this car existed. It was a gator top, hemi four speed black car, you know, and nobody had ever seen it. And he's like, there it is. So coming here kind of made that come full circle for him. So you validated the, the myth. Yeah. So here in the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, this car has got a sign saying it's in the Shaker Hood Invitational, but it doesn't have a Shaker Hood. Yeah, that, that's right. <laughs> well, my dad actually originally ordered the car. He ordered it with a Shaker Hood. And when he went to go pick up the car, it didn't have a Shaker Hood. He ended up suing Pr Chrysler Corporation for the hood because yeah, he yeah. actually wanted the Shaker Hood. Well, and he paid for it. Yeah, so then he ended up getting it. Actually, they if you gave him a hood and a crown and the whole piece of No kidding. You know, back then you hear a lot of stuff, you know, where cars came in, they were supposed to have stripes and they didn't, or they did and they didn't order them, or weird stuff. Interesting story. Uh, so y you, my friend, are also in the in the video and TV business. Right. Uh, have you been shooting some stories on this car that we can maybe look up and watch? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, we have a channel, YouTube channel that I'm well, hoping uh, Cars Automotive TV with. It's a uh, Cars Automotive YouTube channel. And you guys can check that out. Right and uh, I'm basically documenting, you know, basically for myself. So what's the what's the plan for it now? You, you mentioned uh, your crew, your guys have helped tune it up and yeah. get it back on the road. Yep. Um, what's their strategy for that? I think right now we're just going to keep it the way it is. I don't think we're going to do too much more to it. It's just just for the upkeep, and then we're just going to take it slow. And I want to be able to enjoy the car for a while, and that's what I'm going to do. And I have a son, his name is Gregory, Yeah. And he's 10, and maybe, hopefully, it could go down to a third generation. That's what I'm hoping. Gonna teach him how to grab 100 bucks, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll learn. <laughs> yeah, make sure you put a camera in the car for that one. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Well, Gregory, it is awesome okay. that you brought this car out, and, and I love the fact that it's still in the family, and that the stories are staying with it. Because you know, that's really what it's all about. At the end of the day, it's a machine, it's cool, but, but knowing all the rest of it, you know, gives it some life and, uh, and, and keeps your dad's memory alive and keeping it in the family. Thanks for bringing it out, okay. buddy. All right. I'm honored. <laughs>